Relative Strength Investing. Hi everyone, Isaiah Riel, Financial Advisor with Laguna Wealth Advisors. Myself and Laguna Wealth Advisors uses two things to help decide and manage our clients' money. That's the point and figure methodology and relative strength investing. Point and figure methodology, as you can see on the screen, there's a bunch of X's and there's a bunch of O's, and you see some red squares and you see some green squares. The point and figure chart is simply a logical, sensible, and organized way of recording supply and demand in that specific investment that we're looking at. The point and figure chart, most easily and most sensibly, helps us to answer the question of when to buy and sell a specific investment. As you can see on the screen here, the greens tell us that's when a good time to buy the markets based off of technical analysis and point and figure methodology. A red square shows us via, via technical analysis and point and figure methodology of when to sell a specific investment. There's signals of when to buy and sell for us in this methodology. How we pick the investments and the way in which we select what investments we use for our clients is by relative strength investing. One of the most important roles in the point and figure methodology is relative strength. The unique tool measures the likelihood that a stock will outperform the base index, which is the equally weighted S&P 500 index. In addition to measuring when to buy and sell a specific investment, relative strength investing measures how a specific investment is likely to perform versus the market. It shows us what investments are likely to outperform what the S&P 500 does, and if we're looking to outperform for long periods of time, we can see the history, we can see the trends through this point and figure methodology. Relative strength also measures each stock to a group of its peers. I like to put it this way. If we're in an arm wrestling competition with someone, and there's a tournament, let's say, well, most likely is the champion, the one that wins the arm wrestling tournament, will most likely be the strongest out of all of their competitors. And of course, the higher you get in the competition, the farther you go. Most likely as well, the person that was in the semifinals is most likely going to be stronger than the person that lost in the first round. And so what I mean by this is that the goal of relative strength is to pinpoint the best in Class. We want the best investments that look to outperform other investments in, perhaps in that specific sector or in general. Relative strength process is used to guide our individual security selection when it comes to our clients. We want the best tools at our disposal that we feel can help our clients moving forward and that's via point figure methodology helping us to dictate when a good time to buy and sell those for our clients and relative strength. We want investments only to have a proven track record of looking to outpace what the S&P 500 is doing. And we only want the investments that are the best in class because that's what our clients deserve. If you would like for me to, to do a relative strength analysis on your portfolio, please feel free to give me a call. Or if you'd like to learn more and sit down further, I'd be more than happy to do so. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much.